Show, Peter G Show, Peter G Show, Peter G Show, Divorce Dad, Single Dad, Divorce Dad, Single Dad, Peter G Show. Here's Peter. Oh boy, I'm just going to tell you, just when you think you have it all together, don't ever friggin' relax. That's why I got chill music. Oh, hey baby. Oh yeah, I'm watching you, watching me, watching you. You know, just when you line things up and you feel confident and you go, eh, they go eh, no need for a backup, I was supposed to have somebody on tonight. And uh, lo and behold, three and a half hours before the show, four hours before the show, I'm driving in and get a message. Peter, I know you're going to hate me, but I can't do it tonight. And it's like, ah, oh, wonderful. I don't care. And she's like, you can unfriend me if you want. It's like, I'm not going to unfriend you. It's like, Jesus, man, this is, you know, I take this seriously, but, <laughs> you know, honestly, I think she chickened out. Everybody gets big balls at one certain point, and I find out that when you cool down, things change. You go, oh, I don't really want to do it right now. I'm not really into it right now. I don't know. A uh, bunch of things came up. She says, I can't do it. I'm going, you're telling me at friggin' quarter to 12 at night, East Coast, you're that busy. But well, who am I to say, you know? Either way, Sunday night, September 15th, uh... Peter G Show, Life of Peter G, and this is just one typical example of like, you know, do you think you got problems? We all got problems. I could go all night for the one hour and just talk to you like about the week of, of crap that goes on. I mean, and I'm, normally I do. I'd rather hear from you though, 818-259-7983. Notice anything different? Hmm. We just stepped it up a notch live here in a undisclosed location in Burbank, California. They gave me some enhancement. I like it. I like it a lot. Thanks. Brought to you by Bolt Energy. Speaking of Bolt Energy, just happen to have a can here. Bolt Energy. Just got off the, uh, you know, we always in communication together uh, right before the shows. And uh, Bolt Energy. Electrify your senses. Why Bolt Energy? Well, because Bolt Energy, number one, tastes good to me. I like the way it tastes. But, um... It's enriched with vitamins and antioxidants. It's a cleaner energy drink. These guys are workout fanatics. I can't say it enough. The stuff is worth the price of admission. That's right. I like the way it tastes. It's cleaner. They're workout fanatics. They said, you know what, Peter? I want to make something better than the rest. And there you go. Bolt energy. All right? Electrify your senses. Ask for it in stores. If you don't see it in stores, ask for it. Go to www.drinkboltenergy. And they will talk to you and tell you where you can find it. And if you can't find it, there's a good chance that they will figure out a way how to get it to you. Worth, like I said, worth the cause. You know, I haven't gotten endorsed by the uh, CHP, but I do happen to know that the CHP does like Bolt Energy. It said it, it, it just gets you where you need to be safely and doesn't get you all whacked out. So here's the Bolt Energy. I'm going to take a sip. No preservatives either. Forgot to tell you that. I'm getting better at talking about it. But no preservatives. I mean, you know, mostly stuff that you find has preservatives to give it a 40 million year shelf life. But no, not Bolt Energy. Fresh. Okay? Fresh or nothing. I like it. Ask for it in stores, all right? Bolt Energy. Love you guys. And thank you. So here we are. Again, my whole night just got jacked up. It jacked up severely. I wanted, I had a full night planned of bitching, letting somebody get something off their chest. She, It's the craziest thing. A lot of people contact me via uh, Messenger because it's a Facebook thing. And you'd be surprised how many of those messages I get very, very late night. And I'm figuring you're either kind of buzzed, you know, and you just, you know, you just kind of start swimming. You start getting pissed off and you're going, yeah, I'm going to talk to that guy. 
Peter G guy. I got something I want to talk about. But they want to talk about it at 3 a.m. in the morning, you know, privately. You know, I ain't doing that. I'm not a friggin' counselor. I'm just a guy who wants to share stories and talk about stuff so other people can relate. And lo and behold, I had one of those the other night. Now, she contacted me months ago, probably eight months ago. Five, six, seven, eight, Shlomil, Shlomil, whatever it was. And I said, hey, are you sure? Because the last time you contacted me, you all of a sudden disappeared. And she said, yeah, I know, I'm sorry. Life got in the way. Well, life got in the way again. Two times. That's cool. Three strikes. I don't know. But you know what? Everybody's got shit, and I totally understand. But what's happening with me? I'm sitting here. You know, it's all Peter G. Knight. Unless somebody will call that number, 818-259-7983. What do you want to get off your chest? This show is about dumping your bucket, letting things out that maybe, you know, your friends are tired of hearing from you. They're, t- they're tired of all that stuff. Like, they go, oh, you know, I'm, I'm sick of hearing from so-and-so. Let me tell you something. The other night, Friday night, I made a phone call to a very close friend. And I'm going to talk about this. And, um, you know, we don't talk very often, but we go way, way back. And it's understood. If we don't talk for a year, we kind of pick up where we left off. That's friendship. But this conversation went a little bit, it was a little bit different than the normal conversations. Number one, you know, when I started talking, I had a lot of things going on over the summer and, um, you know, and I was explaining it to him. But naturally, I talk about this show. Why do I talk about this show? I'll tell you why I talk about the show. Because I'm very proud of this show. Hey, late night in the Gulf Coast. I'm proud of this show. I'm, I like what I do. And there's a big deal. As opposed to not liking what you do every day. I'm very thankful for what I do. And, uh... And, and, and we were talking about stuff, and he was getting pissed off about something that happened to him because he was doing, you know, kind of good, and things some, some things went wrong in 2004. Now, I don't know if he had a buzz going or what was going on, but it was kind of, you know, like 11 o'clock Friday night, and we're talking, I'm going, dude, man, this, this conversation is getting dark, very unusual for the kind of conversations we have. Now, granted, I talk, when you talk to me, I'm going to talk about what I'm doing, all right? I always talk about what I'm doing because I truly believe that when you're positive about what you're doing, you're going to tell everybody because there's no backing out, you know what I mean? And when I moved to L.A. 29 years ago, I told everybody, I'm moving to L.A. I told everybody a year and a half in advance, I'm getting it together, I'm going to move to L.A. Well, I moved to L.A. I'm still here. Now, I love going back and forth. I know I'm back and forth, but theoretically and officially, I pay my taxes in Los Angeles, okay? So I guess I live here. My heart's in the Gulf Coast. I love it. But, you know, the, the bottom line is, hey, hey, man. The bottom line is, is that this is where I live. And when I decide I'm going to do something, I do it. It's that friggin' simple. And I just felt like the friend of mine that I was talking to something's like the light has turned off and he's like cashing in his chips and we're about the same age in fact we're very very close and I I was just kind of blown away after I hung up the phone I was like huh I don't get it I was was, it bothered me because this is a guy that I love very much but we I mean we go back a long ways we've shared a lot of times together even musically in this uh, because he lives out here too I we you know we both grew up in the same town and we Again, we're very tightly involved when we were in the music industry. But it bothered me because it's like, what the hell, man? Why Why are you, like, like it's not over. You're 50-something years old. whoop de doo whoop de doo To me, I'm stronger than I've ever been because this portion of my life, you know, I have was blessed. My parents lived into their 90s up until recently when I finally became an orphan. I'm hoping I can do that, too. But the bottom line is most people, especially in this industry, I mean, you know, Bob Barker, you know, all these guys, you can do this kind of stuff. You can be old and do it. And it's like, I'm there, baby. <laughs> I'm there. It's like, you know, I'm not even close to being there age wise, but I'm, it, you know, I mean, it's like I'm not 20 years old. I don't, I, there's no, no shame in that. Whoop de doo. But if you have a choice in what you want to do in life, it's like, why not do something that makes you happy? At least try to. The worst thing in the world is doing something you friggin' hate and have to go through the grind and you're just punching in and punching out. It's just the way it is. 
But anyway, back to wherever the hell we were. A couple of things on a sadder note, as if this isn't sad enough that my caller canceled on me. Uh, Eddie Money. Uh, I mean, you know, I wasn't like crazy about Eddie Money, but Eddie Money was friggin' good. He was good. He was out of control. He was there. He was solid. Lots of song. Yeah, I know. There you go. Eddie Money. Friggin' loved Eddie Money. I mean, played, you know, his tunes many, uh, many a nights when I was in cover bands way back in the day. In fact, in 2000. 11, when I did a benefit show, we even did, I just remembered we did one of those tunes because it was, you know, a cover tune, but it was a good cover tune. And, um, oh, wait a minute, I'm all over the map. Watch Party. Hey, Watch Party. Can't say it enough. How did I forget? Nobody reminds me of nothing. Watch Party. Go to your thing and hit the share button. This is what's going on, and I'm going to tell you why it's so important. Hit the share button. When you hit the share button, you look down and it says start a watch party. And then it says, hey, so-and-so is watching the Peter G. Show. And then you hit the watch party. And then it goes to all your friends, too. And it says, hey, you know what? You're watching this show. And they're going to go, why? There's a reason why. Because there's something here. You just don't know it yet. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you what, what what is so cool about this whole like, like right now, one of the pages, like it says, like there's hardly anybody watching. I got four different pages going on right now, plus the watch parties from the sponsors and and friends and things like that, and things I can't even see. But you know, it's late night Sunday night. I don't get a lot. I don't expect a lot. I'm barely scratching the surface with this show. But however, we have, have been working on revamping my iTunes podcast. I have not been uploading these weekly shows to iTunes. And iTunes is a very important thing because podcasts apparently are huge. There's a million of them, but yet there are, a lot of them are doing very well, including I'm not doing that poorly. And I haven't even done anything new for iTunes in quite a while, a year. Time out. Bolt Energy. So... While we're hitting these brick walls, because Ty, my producer in L.A., is having a problem with the coding. Every time he thinks he's got it right, it keeps coming back with an error message. And so far, it's been a week, and uh, and I haven't been able to upload uh, some of the shows from the past. I'm picking and choosing. Probably going to to catch up. I'm probably going to do about two uh Two shows a month from the past, from January all the way up to where we're at, and uh, and then once I catch up, then I'll be weekly on the fly, you know, doing this stuff. So, uh, you know, we haven't been able to upload them. We've been working on this for a week and a half now. I just—I was so proud. I go, we finally got it together. Well, we don't have it together. We're almost there. He's got some bug. He just can't work out. That's life. Again, life. You know, everything's a hurdle. Anyway, so. Out of curiosity, I go, let me Google Peter G. Show podcast. And I hit Peter G. Show podcast. And then all of a sudden, all this stuff comes up. And the reason I'm telling you this is because of the watch party stuff. So I hit it, and then comes Peter G. Show, iTunes, and all this stuff. And then, uh, and then comes, again... Up some, a bunch of pictures, you know, it's like pictures of shows, previous shows, and every time I clicked on a picture, it was going, I'm watching all these platforms that I'm on that I have no idea of who the hell they are or what they are, but I'm on these platforms because there's so much content out there that people are picking it up and they're using it for their own benefit to share on their, on their sites or whatever to build their platforms. So the bottom line is, it's like, we are bigger than you really think. Then, you know, to a lot of people, it's like, oh, who the hell is this guy? I don't know who this guy is. This is a guy that is just doing what he's doing because I love what I do. I want to talk to people about stuff that's bothering them. I want them to open up, share their story so other people can relate and say, wow, yeah, I get it. That's me too. You know what? You're not alone. That's my whole friggin' thing. You're not alone. I found that out when I went through my own hell and survived. Still getting, you know, but life dishes you out daily. Hurdles. For those of you who are fortunate enough to just skate on by, God bless you. 
But you know what? First thing I'm very thankful for is I'm relatively healthy. Biggest deal. Could be in better shape, but not so bad. And then we'll take it from there. I know I'm getting there. I just got sidetracked. So, Paul, my Florida guy. <laughs> guy Friday. Uh, he's, he's reminding me of things. I started with the Eddie Money thing, but I had to stop because I remembered what I was really wanted to talk about. So I found all these platforms, and the more I kept clicking on all these different pictures of of clips of me, of this show, all these different uh, the things I have no idea what's going on. But the bottom line is, here's the good news. There's stuff going on. There's a lot of stuff going on. So that's why, I here we go back to my point five minutes later. It's important that you share with the watch party. If you like or give a shit about what I'm doing, hit the share button while you're watching me. And you can do it during the reruns during the week, too. Or anytime you want. You can share it, and it says, hey, so-and-so is watching the Peter G. Show. And you hit the share button, and then it says, start a watch party. And you hit that start a watch party, and it goes out. And then from your friends, you have no idea who's sharing, and it's on and on and on. And it's just the coolest thing in a very you know weird kind of way. But that's what's happening, and that's what's building this show. Again, it is what it is. So I was being reminded by my Florida guy that, uh, again, I, I talked about the sad passing of Rico, I mean, um, of uh, Eddie Money. And then today, only to find out that Rico Kasich from the uh, Cars 74 or 75, he was found dead too. When you get to a certain age, you're lucky you get to a certain age, regardless of if you're, if you're famous or not. I mean, we haven't heard anything from him in a gazillion years. They, he just kind of like cashed out and just lived the life. And again, lucky him. But life is precious. And um, every moment that you have is not to be, uh, you know, taken for granted, I guess. And that's why, for me, it's important that I'm doing this. I don't just get out and do this because I got nothing better to do on a Sunday night. Believe me, this has been, in fact, I almost regret that we picked this day and time, but this is when we're doing it. I could have done it more commercially. You know, we could have done it during the week and stuff like that. But no, I chose. In fact, I saw somebody else's show. They have a 1 a.m. in the morning show. You know, and I'm going, well, that's shit. You know, I, I'm looking good if I start at 8.30 in the Pacific. Uh, 11.30 on, on the East Coast. He's got a 1 a.m. show. So it's not, you know, there's things going on all the time. You can listen to this stuff on demand. It doesn't matter. You can just look it up. It's on YouTube. It's on the Facebook official Peter G. Show Facebook page. The reason I'm going down the, the pipe, it's time to read, you know, for that friendly uh, PSA reminder. That's why I'm doing all this again. Plus, my caller pooped out on me tonight, and she just, you know, kind of swept me out. I wasn't ready to uh, have to do this on my own. And uh, But in case you just something you want to get off your chest and you want to help old Peter out tonight since he got, you know, uh, back, I'm blindsided, you can call 818-259-7983. Who's got the guts to call Peter and talk about something that they want to talk about? Good question. Let's take a moment, shall we? Oh, yeah. It's not easy being me. And I can tell you that. And again, there's a story behind everything that's going on right now with me. And uh, in fact, a friend of mine called me and he says, uh, Hey, man, what's going on? I can tell by your tone. And I can tell by uh, the few things you're saying. Something's kind of going on weird. And... And, uh, you know, uh, there, there's some there's some stuff that's kind of going on weird. I mean, personal stuff, uh, you know, with, with a few people, well, with someone in my life. Um, but I just chose I'm going to wait. One day there's going to be an outcome, and then I'm going to tell you the whole story, tell you about it, and then just, you know, life's over. Or the story's over. But, um, once again, life with Peter G. Only because I... <laughs> I go through this crap all the time. It just doesn't end. But tonight, I should have had a caller from Pennsylvania. And uh, we were. she was getting ready to unload. She calls me at 3 in the morning or whatever time it was and, uh, you know, to tell me that she really wants to talk about her you know, situation. And I said, great, fine, Sunday night. Can't talk about it on a Wednesday at 3 o'clock in the morning as you're you know, personal messaging me. She goes, I'm in. 
Well, for whatever reason, four hours ago, she says, I can't do it. And I just personally think she chickened out. I do. But I'll give her one more chance to come on. But, you know, I could have set something else up. But four hours before the show was a little bit close. You know, though that we tried, I made some last minute 911 phone calls. Everybody was like, I can't. You know, I'm dumb this, I'm that. And, and I get it. I totally get it. So that's why, you know, tonight I said, whatever happens, happens. We're just going through the motions. If I got to talk for an hour, I will. Won't be the first time. Won't be the first time. Mm-mm-mm. And we can listen to chill music. I, um, I had some comments last week on, uh, on, uh, Victoria. <laughs> it was a little bit, uh, interesting of a of a two-part show that was she held she held court for two weeks and uh that was okay because uh i couldn't i just it it just got too deep you know i said you're gonna have to give me the brighter side of the whole deal uh on part two and we did part two and it was uh it is what it is okay i mean i'll let anybody come on i wish uh, there's two sides to every story, which is another thing I'm going to get to on somebody else as well. But, you know, it kind of just is what it is. And I'm thankful for her to come on and talk because most of you just sit there and watch lurkers. And that's the majority. There's 99.9% of you sitting there just watching what's Peter going to do. Make me laugh, Petey. Yeah, Exactly. Oh shit! Okay. Uh, oh, one thing I really want—I want that—I I touched on it last week, and it just bugs the shit out of me too. It really does. Enhancement, visual enhancement, fake eyelashes, fake hair. Uh, uh, uh what do they call that? Help, help a brother out. Uh, holy shit! You know, all the when they put the. Oh my God! Really? Not gauze. When, when the, the when you're putting the, all the the you know added effects on your face, and everything looks smooth and younger and this and that. It's like why, ladies? Why you don't see guys doing that? You really don't. I mean, you know. And I, I just saw a thing today. It's like if you're ugly, you're just ugly. <laughs> you can't fix this. This is what you, this is what you get. Okay. Look at that. And that's why I don't get much, okay? Because there's not a whole lot here to work with. But uh, all these filters, that's it, filters. And then you got your four-foot eyelashes. And, you know, I understand a little bit of makeup and this and that. But, man, take, take it from a, you know, a guy, me, and a lot of other guys. The last thing I want to be doing is pulling your hair and it comes off. <laughs> I, it's not necessary. It's like you gotta, you know. Let's let's get real. Some people are more gifted than others, you know, genetically or this and that. It is what it is. There's somebody out there for everybody, okay? But you choose to do stuff to where, you know, by by 10 a.m. in the morning, if uh, you had to just, you know, get up and rework things, you're unrecognizable, and that's the problem. Yeah, the old bait and switch. Thank you, Paul. That's not fair. It's just, I mean, everybody wants to be this perfect thing, but we're just not. It's just not, you know? I learned to live with this. It's like, I'm okay. I'm okay. And you got to do it. I know everybody's self-esteem and this and that. It's like, be who you are. I don't give a shit what anybody thinks about what I'm doing. It's like, the last thing I'm going to worry about is if somebody doesn't like what I do. It's like, you know, all right. Ooh. You know what I mean? Because I know that there's a lot of people that do like what I do. And I'd rather have 10 of those than 100,000 of the ones that go, eh, who the hell is he? It's like, I don't, I never said I'm anybody. I'm just doing what I feel I need to do. And anybody wants to jump on board, all aboard. Because we're going places little by little. And that's a fact because I'm watching it happen. Things going on outside of this one hour that are happening. But in the meantime, I have to keep chugging along. It's like uh, the little train that could. <laughs> I think I can. I think I can. Yeah. But that's it. I do need your help, though. I mean, I do. And I, and I appreciate it. You know, again, with the watch party stuff, talking to me, letting me know you're there. 
You know, that's important to everything. It's important to the show. It's important to my sponsors. I mean, there's things going on that happen afterwards a lot more than during. I want to have things happening during because it's just kind of cool. I mean, I'm here. I'm excited. I like being here for an hour. But see that number over there? Where the hell is it? Ooh. 818-259-7983. It's like crickets. There's nothing going on. That's a number that you can actually call and talk to me, but yet nobody will talk to me. I have to end up setting up phone calls. The, the, there's just not enough. There's not enough people with the guts, with the balls to go, I want to give a call. I got something that's bothering me, and I'm not necessarily, you're not necessarily looking for an answer, but you want to get it off your chest. You want to just bitch about something, or maybe, maybe we will. Might end up figuring it out. Who knows? I can have multiple phone calls, a couple now. I can have two of you, uh, you know, we're getting there, one one step at a time. But if the phone doesn't ring, it's like, what good is having that number? I can just sit here and talk. I used to do that. I used to do the one, one-on-one interviews, multi-camera. We, um, we edited. We had some great banter. It was educational. It was informative. It was funny at times. But that's not what I, why I have a live show. The live show is here. The live show is here, so that way... You, the people, can come on and talk to me. And, you know, we're only 30 minutes into the hour. It's like, what am I going to talk about now? I can keep repeating myself, you know, but that's kind of foolish. I truly like this. I feel there's, you know, but, and I also realize that Every day can't be the hottest day of the year. I mean, you know, the hottest show of the night. And, and there's times when things just come together and you go, whoa. This is, by the way, show is this? Show number 36 of the year. I'm kind of proud of that. Let me see some of these critics, and I do have a few, that sit there and go, you know, I think I'm going to do a show. It's like, go do it. Let me know how it, let me know how it pans out. Because, you know, everybody's good out the gate, believe me. I'm not proud. I'm not, you know, too ashamed to like call you out. Everybody's good out the gate, but what happens a few shows into it? And I've watched this a million times. People are just pooping out. They get they get six months into it, and all of a sudden the, you know, it's like, what do I do now? <laughs> yeah, what do you do now? So don't ever, you know, that's why I can give a shit when somebody sits there with me, and uh, I can give a shit. And look at this, I got. <laughs> Oh, that's good. At least I, I can't remember. Uh, Paul wants an AT and T update. Okay, Paul. I haven't heard from AT and T. Those of you who watched me over the summer, I uh, made a couple of special shows because I had some major, major incidences with uh, AT and T. They gave me a real hard time over something, cause, and it was all on them. It was just, just flat out them dropping the ball, but yet char- trying to charge me for stupidity. And uh, you know, so it was David and Goliath. Me going up against, you know, AT&T. And I haven't heard from them. I haven't heard from the collection agency. I'm waiting. I should be getting a bill. And hopefully it's going to finally zero out after I went live and recorded everything and told them they need to just, like, get it together. But so far, I have nothing going on. I don't know. And, uh, yes, notice anything different? We are now getting to... We have our own. They stepped it up here in the uh, LA uh, version of Bolt Energy Lounge. I like the uh, the new the new scene. Uh, this this took a while, but uh, when we went to Pensacola, I mean that was a big deal, and we wanted to be having it right over there too. But uh, and then all of a sudden it's like we just stepped the game up, and they go, well, if you're going to do it in there, why why don't you do it in L.A.? I go, it's freaking L.A. I got no problem with a black backdrop. I have no problem. And they go, no. Nah. They go, you need you need. You need more, and more we got. Who wants to call little old me, 818 259 7983, and talk to me and tell me what's going on? Because it's one of those nights where, unfortunately, my caller dropped the ball and we had to just wing it tonight. And so I, I wasn't going to go crazy. I said, somebody will be kind enough or have shit on their plate they want to get off their chest and call me. 818 259 7983. The phone is uh, like dead zone, which is nothing unusual. We'll just listen to chill music, but I mean, somebody's got something that that's just bugging them. I mean, you know, uh, again, last last week I stayed pretty busy. Hey, hey, girl, 
look at that. I, <laughs> hey, you know what, uh, Melanie? I had uh, I had uh, I had a California girl on last week, and she was getting dick pics. <laughs> I mentioned you. I said you know how to handle it, kinda. <laughs> but anyway, uh, but last week was interesting. Um, again, you know, I just take every call. I let you say your piece. I don't judge pretty much, but there's two sides to every story, but we just share stories. And, um, in fact, I had somebody get on my YouTube channel, the Peter G show or Peter G show and contradicting things that she said. But I said, Hey, I wish you were on the live show. You could have called in and talked to her personally. But, uh, you know, I mean, I, I, I wasn't there, but I was appreciative of, uh, being there. I tell people, in fact, this is the problem, you know, with tonight's caller that I wish I had from Pennsylvania. I She needed a couple of drinks in her just to get her riled up like she might have been from Wednesday night when she's direct messaging me. And uh, and you just need to just, you know, get to that point to where you're back to that status to where you want to say, I'm calling him and I'm going to talk about this shit. Because if anybody understands that, it's Melanie from Perdido, Alabama. She knows how to have five, six, seven, eight adult beverages and then give me a call and tell me what the hell's going on. And I like it. That's where we had the Southern Fried Sundays. I'm back in L.A. We can still have those, but, you know, we're in L.A. now. L.A., Lower Alabama. It's 9.01. I've flat out been talking for 31 minutes. We'll listen to some chill music until somebody gets the the guts up to say, I got something I want to get off my chest. Don't be shy. I know that there's not a ton of you, or actually there is. <laughs> That's the problem. There's a ton of you, and they're just sitting there watching. They're what you're waiting for somebody else to call. They go, well, somebody call so we can just listen. We're just lurkers. You know, and, and again, if I didn't get all the emails and everything telling me this tr- that that's the truth, I'd say, well, then maybe I am sucking. But even if I was sucking, I'm I'm a, I'm pretty good at it. Yeah, <laughs> it's like if you're gonna be good at something, you might as well you know you practice. I like what I do. The thing is, it doesn't help you if if you don't you know I, you're watching for a reason. There's definitely you're watching for a reason. But um, every night, I I. I built this whole platform based on that phone number, that phone number, because um, I want you guys to call in and, and share your stuff. I share my stuff all week long. I do. I try, I've been trying to cut it back and get more of you, but I'm telling you, I can't go anywhere. I can't do anything without something getting in the way, something making me want to have to bitch about something. And again, from talking to one of my closer friends in my life from years and just for some reason the phone call going awry and it's it, it was just weird it was weird enough to where it bothered me because it's like what what is happening in our lives you know and uh why why that you know i i don't know maybe they're sick of me you know what i mean but but the thing is with me is i just believe in what i believe in and i'm not about to change hang on one second let's see what we got here Hey, Life of Peter G., who's this? Who's this? Wow. I know exactly who this is. It's me. What's up? This L.A. Escorts? Yes, L.A. Escorts. What you need? I'm looking for a little filly. About 5'10", brunette, pretty. Yeah, well, you better... Uh, what'd you do with the money? What do you mean? The money for the voice-changing course. Hello. Who is this? Well, it's it's Peter G. Who's this? My name is Sherman. Yeah, Sherman. Sherman Tank. Sherman Oaks. <laughs> Burning Sherman. Oh, it's a... the Shermanator. Sher- Sherman Russell. Yeah, yeah, Russell. Russell the Love Muscle. <laughs> what you want to talk about, Sherman? I think I got the wrong number. I don't think so. I think you meant to call me. And I think you want to talk about what's, you know, what's bothering you. Well, nothing's bothering me, sir. Really? I just, I'm just i just in town for a little business and I need myself a little filly. 
oh. occupy my time. Well, I'd uh, I'd uh, look up in the L.A. Express uh, if you're in town. There's these magazines all over town, and I'm sure you're uh, you're going to find you a little Philly. Just make sure you have a lot of cashola. That's who I thought I was calling. Well, uh, what you need <laughs> depends. Like I said, uh-huh. I need a little Philly, about five ten brunette would be great. Okay, where are you located at? Down so, here at the Bonaventure. At the Bonaventure. Oh, the old Bonaventure, huh? Well, yeah, uh, cheap. yeah, nearby. yeah. Uh, the Bonaventure. Where the hell is the Bonaventure? I've forgotten. Oh, look at this. Okay. You got a lot of people listening to you right now there, uh, 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 Sherman. Where are you from, Sherman? Downtown. Yeah, where are you from? I'm from Austin, Texas. Austin, Texas. I like Austin. I like Austin. That's, uh, so how long are you in town for, Sherman? Just a couple of days. Just a couple of days. Well, I don't know if you, you know, I, I guarantee if you if you venture out, you will uh, you will find some entertainment or somebody to keep you company. But uh, but right now, the only entertainment you got is Life with Peter G. Right now. What the hell was Life with Peter G.? It's the show that you're talking to on right now, Sherman. What channel? Channel Facebook. Facebook? That's right. What the hell would you be doing with the show on Facebook? Good question. People ask me that all the time. That's a good question, but you know what? I'm one of those guys who just uh, goes against the grain. I said, I'm going to make a point. So how's that, Sherman? You on Facebook, Sherman? No, sir, I'm not. Oh. I don't mess around with that shit. You don't? Well, let's not. No, sir, I don't what, got time for that. What, what, I'm a busy what, man. You're a busy man. You're getting Obviously, you got time because you're looking for a filly. Well, what I do with my evenings. When I'm on business trips, that's mm-hmm. my business. What kind of business? I own part of a tapas bar out in Austin. Oh shit, dude! Then, then that's easy. You you should be you know pro- very proficient in this in this uh, whole deal. Um, first time in L.A. No sir. No sir. Well, then how did you dial my number? Like I said, I thought I was dialing L.A. escorts. Oh no. I didn't. I, I had no idea that my number was so close. By the way, uh, Sherman, you ever uh, have you ever had the opportunity to drink Bolt Energy? No, sir. I can't say that I have. Okay, well, I've Bolt. Been, Bolt. I've, I've definitely been kicked in the Bolt a few times. Yeah, I think we all have. That's why I have this show. But uh, in the meantime, that my show that's on Facebook that you don't watch is sponsored by Bolt Energy. They electrify your senses. It's a cleaner energy drink, and I dig them so because they dig me, and I'm able to do this show because of Bolt Energy. Uh, it's, it'll be in Austin, Texas. You watch. And then you'll say, damn, I talked to that guy. I can't remember his name, but Bolt Energy. I know him when, huh? Exactly. That's what you're going with? That's what I'm going with. They pay you money for this? That they pay me. Yeah. Isn't that, isn't that crazy? <laughs> Oh my god! I think it's fucked up too. Yeah, but uh, you know what? It's like somebody's got to do it. I uh, ever been to Pensacola, Sherman? No, sir, I have not. All right. But I've definitely seen the talent down there. Yeah, I mean, damn right. Nice. I love the Gulf Coast. Uh, I, Lord knows, I, I kind of grew up in that area. Lord knows, I've had my share of entertainment over there in. Uh, in your established type of establishments, um, I grew up as a musician in that town, and uh, and have been fortunate enough to be in many towns. But uh, yeah, so that's uh, good. So you're in town for a few days, and and you're looking for love in all the wrong places, right? Well, you could say that. Yeah. See, work, working in a topless bar, I I do have access to some pretty fine talent i'm sure you do and i and i I do i do like them small and i do like them on the younger side Uh uh-huh i get it not 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 the legal side not do yeah well well, a little filly up on that stage shaking that little money maker then take her backstage and bang the bejesus out of her damn tell you damn sherman well, I don't know where you can. I'm sure you can find that here. I just, I, I, I wasn't ready, so I'm not sure what, what's going on. I mean, I got, 
people from the Gulf Coast watching who are very proficient in your in your uh, category of business and uh, ex dancers and and they're watching right now and they're giving you the hell yeah. Believe it or not. Well, I really like the ones that are going to college. Yo. Those are my favorites. Well, I mean, talk. if you're a businessman, I mean, there's nothing, almost nothing money can't buy besides your health. But, uh, you know. Well, that's why I was looking for an escort tonight. I wanted, I wanted an intelligent woman who could hold on a conversation. Oh, shit. Now you're asking for the whole damn shebango. And now, and Listen, here it is. I'm now talking to some guy. Some guy, uh, some young guy. On Facebook. <laughs> I know. And, 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 when, and believe me, you're going to be at that point where you can go, God Damn it! I can't believe I misdialed that call, and and that guy is so, actually you know somebody one of these days with bolt energy. Well, for a few more drinks later, I might be doing my imitation of uh, Jeffrey Epstein oh. imitating a piece of swinging meat. Well, there you go, uh, Sherman. I, I you know if I didn't know better, I would have think I'd be paying you to make this phone call to me. Why would you be paying me to make this phone call? Well, because sometimes I set up people to to do what you're doing right now, but but <laughs> that's the whole thing. I'm no whore. Well, I didn't say you're a whore. You're just part of the bits, you know, that I do. Uh, you know, just, I've ha- just while we're on the subject, none of my girls in my clubs are whores either. But yeah, of course not. They just you know they're just working working girls. That's a good they thing. Can be bitches. Uh, okay, but they're but not they're, whores. But they're not whores. All right, so long as we have that straight. That that's good. Uh, you know, uh, Sherman, I'm on every Sunday night. Just so you know, uh, right now for one hour, I'm what on. Time? Uh, I'm on. Uh, you're in Austin. That's Central Time, right? In Austin. Pacific. It's Pacific. Is it really? Okay. I don't know. Uh, I've okay. been drinking. Uh, okay, Sherman. Well, okay. Let's put it this way, Sherman. If you were to go on Facebook, I'm on Facebook, the Peter G Show. Every Sunday night, eight thirty Pacific, ten thirty Central, and eleven thirty on the East Coast. But eleven thirty don't matter. But I'm on like clockwork. You can find me here, good or bad. This is what I'm doing: talking to people who want to get shit off their chest, who just have you know, just 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 need to talk about something. Well, what I need to get off my chest, I can't share over an open phone line. Well, sure you can. No, trust what? me, I can't. <laughs> All right. I mean, listen. There's nobody listening. Just me and a few of my closest friends. Who's the show for? Who's the show for? The show is for you. No, 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 no. What? You're not understanding me, son. Maybe. I'm Why right. are you doing the show? I do the show because I found out that life is a bitch, and people have things that go on in their lives, and they want to get it off their chest. So what happens is you call in, you're talking to me about stuff, and other people are going, wow, I got the same problem going on. And that happens a lot. I mean, you know, a couple of different variances, getting kicked in the nuts here, getting bashed, you know, bashed in the head there, life, divorce, girlfriends, job, kids, whatever. Just and, you divorced? Oh, I'm divorced, all right. You divorced? I bet you are. No, sir. No, sir. Not divorced. Have you ever been married? No, sir. Really? I'm not that dumb. Well, it's not about being dumb, man. I mean, how old are you, Sherman? I'm old enough to know better. Okay, but how old are you? I mean, Jesus, come on. Nobody can see you. I'm over 40. Okay. I mean, we don't even know if your name is Sherman. Sherman. You know what I mean? So that's the beauty of it. You're anonymous. You're calling in, and you're sharing stories. And a lot of people, just after they talk about the stuff, they listen to the show is on demand. You can find me on YouTube also, Sherman, Peter G. Show. I'm all over the place. I'm actually bigger than you think. <laughs> but here well, you are. Next time I find myself by a computer, I might look you up. That's we'll it. See you about you that. might as well look me up and say hey, all right, because I'm telling you. So you're divorced. Uh-huh. Man, uh-huh. got kids. Oh yeah. What, what, what's the deal? Yeah. Who's interviewing who? <laughs> I want to know who I'm talking to. Oh, I know who I'm talking to. But uh, uh, I'm I got one little girl. That's it. You know, divorce went through hell. Three and a half, three years in court. Spent. I'm still paying my divorce attorney. How's that? And that was years ago. I'm, I'm going to be paying them until I'm 85. Shoes. Yeah, sounds like you've been through the ringer. I have been through the ringer, and that's why I do this show because I said, you know what? 
I'm not the only one that goes through the ringer. And for every two that get healed and go move on and say, I don't want to talk about that shit, there's eight more coming through the door. So I'm here to help the them. Hell? We're going to ease the pain. That's three years in court. Are you, are you one of these, these sick fucks that likes to... Not me. Not me. Check his, check his little girl's true sap. No, psh, dude. <laughs> okay, Sherman. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's it. it was, one of those. Nope. I've I've run into so many girls that have been abused by her, by their dads. Just just makes her sick. Oh well, that's not this guy. This guy is uh is I, I stand up. I fought and gave up my whole career, basically, good or bad. Not that I was anything special, but I changed my life to make sure that I was going to be the dad. Period. What what career was that? I was in the music industry, Sherman. What'd you do? I was a drummer. Drummer? Yeah. I told you, I played. Drummers don't do anything but bang on things, boy. <laughs> what are they? Yeah, that's right. I like to bang things. Yeah, it's, it's, it's my favorite pastime. I think that's what got you in trouble in the first place, doesn't it? it, it pretty much, you know. Mm-hmm. But I, I tend to, you know, you tend to believe in people. And see, I, I, I have this bad habit of trying to see the inner good in most, you know. And, uh, uh, you know, sometimes it bites you in the ass. In a bad way. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sherman <laughs> from Austin. Mm. Yeah, my name's Sherman. Well, you got a problem with that? No, I just want to make sure that we reiterate. I want my, my, my people out there to to know who I'm talking to. Because believe it or not, I have you know, two, three, four, five hundred million or three million or whatever. But there's people listening right now. That's we're live, live right now. Well, my name is Sherman Russell Roundtree. <laughs> well, then Sherman Russell and Roundtree. I'm a purveyor of topless entertainment. It Sherman right Russell right. Roundtree, huh? Yes, uh, sir. Sherman. Uh, um. Uh. God. Okay, I just had a brain screw. Sherman Russell. Because because is that from a movie? It probably is. See that's that's the C Sherman. I don't watch no, a lot of sir, movies. Uh, you got me I again. Named after my, I was I was named after my grandfather. Really? I'm gonna have to go look this up now because I know you're 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 pulling my leg. No, sir. My name is Sherman. Hmm. All right, but Russell Roundtree, huh? <laughs> Sherman Russell Roundtree. Listen, yes, to, see, look, I got the Gulf Coast. They're all looking at. It. They're going, "Hey, Sherman. Hey, Sherman. Hello, Sherman. They're all helloing you." Nice. Well, tell them I said hey. Hey, Sherman says hey. If they're, on, if they're ever out in Austin, Texas, come on by the Yellow Rose. The Yellow Rose. Show ro- you a good time. All right, the Yellow friggin' Rose. I'll go to the damn Yellow Rose. I was in Austin in April. Yellow Rose. Hey, uh-uh. uh-uh. You're, 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 All right. you're dead. You shouldn't be messing around with that. I'm a dad, but I'm not dead. Yeah. Uh, mm, damn, Sherman. Now what are we going to do? Nobody... Nobody touched the girls. I, me. You know what? Here's the deal with, 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 with strip bars. I was always the guy who sits way in the back and watches the other guys just go nuts over stuff they can't have. That was always uh, me. I know you, I know the type. You're the one that sits in the back there, and yeah, you, you'd watch from afar. And you're the guys we fall out the parking lot. We keep an eye on you. Shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I know you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So what do you got, a, a sore throat tonight, or, or are you just uh, ra- always raspy? Well, if you worked on a farm as a boy, chasing around cows all day, you'd you'd be raspy too, boy. In in, wa- in Washington State, Austin, Texas. Uh, Don't you listen? <laughs> sorry, sorry, I slipped. Starbucks. Uh, <laughs> Starbucks. I thought, I thought, thought it was about Bolt Energy. Uh, it is. It is. But uh, Starbucks. Damn, Starbucks so high. Confused. Starbucks high. Yeah. I don't know. I just I, I lose. I, I'm all over the place. I got you know four different screens in front of me, Sherman, and um, and there's a lot of things going on. So while I'm talking to you, I'm reviewing at what's going on, and and uh, and sometimes I get sidetracked. I apologize. You know, I'm listening to chill music while we're talking. You can't hear it, but you would if you watched the show. All right. Yeah. Look at that. There's people just like digging you, Sherman. Look at that, Melanie from Perdido, Alabama. 
she's got some uh, some history in your type of establishment. She's retired now, though. She's yeah, got. Right. She's, Hopefully, she was treated right. Hey, there you are. Now I'm starting to hear you. <laughs> and uh, and uh, she, yeah, she's she's uh, Melanie's quite the uh, the Spitfire, but she's got a Superman husband, Anthony. God bless Anthony. Uh, for you know, he kind of tames her whistle or something. <laughs> but uh, what do you mean? Well, you, you know, she, he keep he keeps her in line in a good kind of way because she's retired. Uh, 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 Does he hit her? No, he don't hit her. Nothing like that. I mean, he just knows how to ta- you know tame the the knock the, some sense into her. No, no, she's she's got plenty of sense in her. He just he just she just keeps out of this. You know, she's a retired uh, entertainer. Let's put it that way. So she she found her man to keep her, yeah, her sexy baby. That's what she just called it, yeah. her Superman. Just she retired yeah. and she's completely happy with one man who just floats her boat. Now I I don't know anything about this Melanie. Yeah, she worked in my my particular line of work, and uh, we had to keep our eye on girls like her. Why is that? I mean, back in the day, oh. she was probably crazy. I'm I'm banking on it. <laughs> Most are. We have rules in what we do. You got rules, uh-huh. No touching. Uh-huh. No money on the side. No money. Things kept out in the open. Uh-huh. Don't want to get in any trouble with the state, you see. Uh-huh. That is true. That is always the case. But, you know, shit happens. Even even here in L.A. Shocking, right? Now, like I told you, mm. I like the girls that are putting themselves through school. They're trying to do something with themselves. Right. Some of the girls who get, they're messed up. Uh-huh. That's a lot of, did them wrong. A lot of them are messed up. What are you going to do? I mean, it is what it is. And the ones that are trying to get themselves through college and just, you know, are okay with doing what they're doing until they can get better, God bless them, too. You know, but you can't save them all. You know, I tried to provide a little guidance and encouragement to them when I can. Yeah, what are you guiding them with? <laughs> what what do you think? All right, that's what I thought. I got a penis and I got a bankroll. There you go. What I yeah. got experience, age, and wisdom on them. Ah, true mentor. Well, so, but some I lead to God. Yes, yes, and one day you will. But uh, but one thing, all of them. It doesn't matter. If they're going to college. Mm-hmm. They're running from whoever, mm-hmm. boyfriend parent whatever it's always the same story is it what story is that yeah their, par- their parents didn't pay enough attention to them that's you know i don't i don't doubt that at all daddy issues the whole deal no doubt i've done I, I, there's grown women that, mind you they go they go the other way and they pay too much attention to them uh, i don't know about that. always at the home always yeah always peter yeah I don't know. You know, again, I, I just, to me, uh, it, it is what it is. Some some do, some don't. Some will, some won't. And uh, so, you, you know. So, now, why I have never went down that road of getting married and having children, mm-hmm. I've learned a thing or two about it. You have? What have you learned? When you have a child, your life is over. <laughs> Uh, kind of, not, but not really. Not literally. It's a different. Like it's you're, yeah. It's, you're, it's, you're pushing up daisies or anything. Like that, no, but I mean no, it's yeah. over in the sense that. Oh yeah. Everything you have to do in this life. Yeah. Comes down to one thing and one thing only. Yeah. Making sure they are better people than you are. Well, that is right. I'm very proud of that fact. And, that yeah. and I deal with the remnants and the failures. Yes. Of people not following that motto. Yes, probably you. Uh, well, that's probably you're probably true, right? You know, there's there's no doubt about that, and that's why I'm I kind of do this show because I had to go through a lot of the stuff, and I said there's no freaking way. In fact, even my ex has is well, she's got issues, and there's some stuff going on. But the, that was the whole thing. I said this ain't going to happen to our daughter, and uh, and I stopped everything, and I do everything. To make sure that, uh, and including this show, to spread the word, even though she doesn't get it, but I do everything to spread the word 
for those who need the support, who want to talk about stuff, because that's the problem. There's just too much of that shit. It needs to end. It never will, but let's just try to reduce it, not seduce it. Yeah. Hey, baby. Do you provide for your little girl? I do. I mean, do you make sure she has a roof over her head and that she is loved each and every day. Beef, but I can't love her enough. That's my, that's my top number one A1 priority. Nothing else matters. And it comes down to, like, you know, the, the bottom line. She is the bottom line. There's nothing else that now, matters now, more Peter, in my life. Peter, hold, Peter yeah. just, just stop talking for a second. Yes, James. I mean, uh, Sherman. <laughs> my name is Sherman. I know. I'm sorry. I slipped. Show me some GD respect. Uh, I, okay. I'm sorry. I apologize. I got I got five more minutes, Sherman. Let's make it above count. Above all else, above everything you do in this life, your daughter comes first. I know. You listen to her. I'm that I guy. I don't mean just listen to the words she's saying. You hear what she's really saying. Yeah. You think about your actions, sir. Sir. What's, what's wrong with my You're not actions? Thinking about your actions. What am I doing? What am I doing wrong? Like, like I told you, like I told you, I deal with the remnants. I understand that of parents that were so focused on themselves that they missed the bigger picture. Hmm. Your kids come first. I'm That's in. when I say your life is over. Your life is over. It's not, their life. Uh, no, it, it's easier now. As they get older, it gets a little bit easier. At least for me, it does. You know, because I think I did. Uh, I'm doing. A pretty. Did you see the Green Mile? Uh, you ever see that movie? Yeah, it's a long time that's, ago. That's just a. That's just a great movie. <laughs> we all owe a death. Uh, I, we yeah. all owe a death. Well, guess what? If you're a parent, yeah, you you owe two. Amen. Oh, I'm that guy. I'm telling you, I am that guy. I I sing it loud and proud. You make sure your children live long enough to owe that death. And owing a death means you've lived a full life and you've given everything. I do, but I still best you can be. I still find time for you know a, a little time for me. And as she gets older, like I said, I'll have even more time because she's going to be so busy doing her thing, in the right way, but her thing. You know, college. She sounds like she's still in her uh, in her preteens. Is that about right? That's about like right. Down the eight, nine year old area. No, uh, a little bit older, but yes, you're correct. And everybody was like, all through the years. Out of time, man. All through the years, they were going, wait till she gets to be a teenager. Well, so far, so good. Oh, they're not lying to you, sir. <laughs> oh, they're not lying to you. You just wait. You just wait. Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting. Oh, I'm not waiting. Till high school. I don't oh, actually. School. Actually, I'm, I'm, <laughs> actually, I'm not just waiting because I do daily. You know, I've I live close by to my house for, where my ex lives, and oh, my TV just went out. Hello. Sorry. Well, you see now, right there, right what you said, right there. Yeah. You don't have an ex. Oh, I do. No, 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 no. No, understand me on this one. Okay. Peter. Yes. You have a parent, <laughs> a oh. mother. Yeah, the mother of my child, yes. That's all she'll ever be. That's true. If you can be friendly with her, that's even better. Well, that's I've, I tried. The best we can hope for with divorce. That's right. Look at you, but, Sherman, but calling, making a wrong phone call, and now you're on the show for 25 minutes. Isn't that some shit? Preaching to my to my to my crowd. Well, don't worry. There's going to be some bourbon and some masturbation in a little bit. So. Okay, <laughs> here we go again. <laughs> it's, too, it's too late for the escorts uh, uh, now. No, it's not too late. That's it's, it's not too late. It may be too late for you. I got an early flight. You, I thought you said you're in town for a few days. Yeah, and it's over. Oh, and it's over. Well, you know what? Listen, you're in the land of plenty. I, I like Texas girls. Texas girls are friggin' crazy in a good way. Uh, but they buck like no other. Brand I've never, never met had. a Texas girl I didn't like so far. I, I, honestly, but. Um, but here's the deal. We are just about out of time, Sherman. I encourage you to look me up, Peter G. Show, and you get to listen, and uh, and uh, maybe you will follow every Sunday night over here. 
I know you're a busy man, but, you know, even a busy man needs to take a break. I will. I will look you up. Perhaps I'll call back sometime. Maybe you yeah, should. All right. Yeah. Oh, uh, look at that. I'm getting another call. Hang, uh, hang on a second. Stay, stay with me, okay? All righty. Uh, let's see. Hang on one second. Hey, Peter G. Show, who's this? Hello. Hello. Uh, you, you didn't work. Oh, wait. A minute. You didn't work that out, did you? Hey, what? What? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Hey, now, now, how are you going to talk at the same time? Hey, Peter. What's up, man? <laughs> Nothing. What you doing? Long time no. Long time no. Uh, no, no. Here, here. You want to talk? Yeah, I've been. You I've been talk? working. You want to talk to Sherman? <laughs> Sher- Sherman, who? Exactly. I can't now. You put put that on hold. Uh, it doesn't work like that. Good. It doesn't work like that. Anyway, so uh, where you been, James? James. Yep. Yes. Where you been? I'm help you. Where you been? I've been working. Okay, that's cool. I got Sherman on the phone, but now I can't get Sherman back because uh, uh, you probably understand. <laughs> it doesn't can't do that. I got ah uh, Sher- Sherman just cut off. James. Did he? J- James from Culver City just missed Sherman from Austin, Texas. Yes. Ah, oh. uh, and I'm uh, I'm out of time. It's I'm a minute over again. Why do you call the last minute? Oh, like I said, man, I'm working. I've been busy. I mean, yeah, this no. is my this is my Christmas season, actually. This is your what? Well, in the, my industry, this is Christmas. We're we're ramping up for Christmas. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I get it, I get it. Well, bolt so, energy, bolt energy, electrify your senses. Hey, look at you! You've been practicing again because you know what? You even fucked me up too. I, the last week, I said energize your your senses, and it's like, oh, he got me. <laughs> I'll get you. Yeah. Well, here's the problem. Uh, you missed Sherman from Austin, Texas, uh, kinda. I'll catch it on the replay, but I, I did catch Victoria. I was able to listen in the background, and yes, what do you that think? woman just prattles on. I mean, God, God love her. Yes, and I'll, I'll just say this to you and to all the other people that have called in recently. Yes, please remember, you all got in the car. Oh boy. I've been yeah. waiting a few weeks to say that. Oh, uh, really? Have you? Well, you know what? I don't know how that worked. I haven't had the the, the behind the scenes discussion, but you know, Victoria is uh, loud and proud that she can get whatever she wants. I mean, she can do whatever she wants or have whatever she wants, and she's hot and ready to go. And God bless her. I mean, she's you know of age, and she's just at a point in her life where she's wanting to just enjoy her life, and I can't blame her. She's, uh, I'm sorry, I miss Sherman. He sounds like fun. Uh, yeah, sure. Well, maybe you'll be uh, one day. I'll introduce you to him, but uh, that's gonna be a task. <laughs> All right. I gotta go now, though, because it's friggin' nine thirty-three uh, Pacific time. Hey, uh, are you? Have you seen the show? Are you watching the show or just listening? Uh, no. When I uh, when I went on my lunch break tonight, I opened up Facebook and I I didn't see it there. Again, get yeah. out of here. I, I, I know we set the whole thing correctly tonight, right? We did. You should be on the, it should be on the main page. All right. Well, but I'm, the thing I'm is, not near a computer. Let me know if you see anything different. They uh we upgraded our, our our view. We did it we did it for you. Well, maybe okay, not. I'll, maybe I'll not. have to check it out on the replay, yes. but yeah. Yes, you got to like, roll. I yes, got to roll. That's it. Uh, better luck next week. Uh, again, I had my, my main caller. Thank God for uh, for uh, Sherman from Austin, Texas, calling by accident. But uh, my main call for tonight flaked on me a couple of hours before the show, and I didn't back myself up, and shame on us. But um, it is what it is. Not the first time, won't be the last. But uh, there's always next week, right? I guess so. You don't know. I'm telling you. There's always next week. Anyway, all right. Go back to work, and I'm going to finish it up right here and get the hell out of here because right. time is present. Peace out, world. Appreciate it. See you later. Bye. All right, bitches. There you have it. Uh, got a... F- <laughs> hey, happy birthday, bro. Or late happy birthday, Michael. Um, here's the deal. Got a phone call by mistake by uh, Sherman. Uh, Sherman, uh, where did I? I wrote it down. Where the fuck is it? Thank you. Sherman Russell. Re- <laughs> Shit. Sherman Russell. We got a phone call by Sherman, uh, who's from Austin, Texas. And uh, he called in by accident. Accident. 
Daisy, you're back. I knew you'd come back, Daisy. Where you been? I remind you guys, we're done for the night. Better late than never, but share, share, share. During the week when you see these shows replaying, rebroadcasting, you can hit the share button and hit the share button. And underneath the share button, it says start a watch party. Do it for little old me because I want to do it for little old you. You have no idea how this freaking stuff is growing. And one day it's going to go to a much bigger platform and we are going to party. It's going to be a good thing. All right, listen, we're about out of time. If you missed Sherman from Austin, Texas tonight, by accident, you can always watch it on the replays anytime. Don't forget about YouTube, the iTunes. If you're busy and you can't sit and watch, I totally get it, man. Some of my closest friends go, Peter, I can't watch you. I'm busy. You know, you can listen, though. You can go to iTunes, Peter G Show, hit subscribe, and you can hear a ton of shows that have been already up there from the days gone by. And we're getting to where everything is going to be very current, and you'll be able to hear the shows that were just done every week. Okay? I love you guys more than you know. This is really important stuff to me. And I will not back down. I don't give a shit what anybody thinks, whether you either love me or hate me. Hopefully you love me because I love you and I appreciate you. But if you really want to show your appreciation, number one, you call in and you talk to me. You show me that you're there by speaking to me, whether it's on the Facebook page or whatever, and, uh, and share. Share. Because you don't know how many friends you have that just might be going, wow. All right, I'll take it. You know, he's not the brightest bulb in the bunch, but he's not bad. All right? Peace out. Don't uh, get in any trouble, and we'll see you next week. Next week, I'm going to line up some new stuff, but I, I'm not going to tell you right now until we get closer to the week. In the meantime, listen to the show. Appreciate you. Love you more than ever. See you later.